So, Garrus is here. Edie has a body. And we have to go negotiate with some Krogan. And hope that there's no more technical issues. Please. Alright, let's go talk to everybody though, because like they're all here. I'm still not getting over the habit of sprint is on space and not shift. But, you know. I know, Primark. I'm seeing the same numbers myself. They don't look good. We have to turn this around and fast. Well, you can trust Shepard, sir. If anybody can get the Krogan to cooperate, it's him. He's an old friend of Erd, not Rex. Yes, I am. Just hope friendship still counts for something in this war. I don't know where this is coming from. I'm it's sure it's console. Sir. Uh, yeah. Don't look at the data too hard. That'll just make you sad. But hey, Garrus, how you doing? Garrus. Didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. Calibrating, are you? After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. Sounds good to me. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. We're on the same Sovereign level here. Go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not convinced I should have left Palavin behind. I know what that's like. I did that with Earth. Kinda sucks. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. Also this random kid that's apparently I watched him important. die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Somehow I'm still alive. And he's not. Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory, has it? Nope. We both knew this fight would be tough. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me out. Better than what I got. So you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. And not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. Yeah, it's still gonna suck, though. Yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us. Don't us. count it. It's too much. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember... A certain Turian friend of yours isn't sleeping any better, and he'd be more than happy to meet you at the bar and drink you under the table. I'll take you up on that at some point. Something else you want to talk about? Yes. So about your family and the big flaming spot on Palavin. You mentioned you still had family on Palavin. My father is there. Sister, too. How long has it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. Don't? I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. What about you? Any word from your family? My mother's in the Alliance. Haven't heard from her since Earth got hit. I'm sure sh she's okay. Thanks, Garrus. I like how he returned those words, but he was just like, I just did the same thing and was just so awkward about it. <laughs> uh, so... You think we got this in the I know bag? We don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. Until late, though. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. So we got this. After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. In this war, that's not going to happen. You gotta reconcile with the fact that there will be casualties. Lots of them. So how is your task force? Are they cool? So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After what happened to you out there in Batarian space, I knew time was running out for all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. He used to work for CSEC, didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. To put it mildly. But 
He still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend of his. Yeah? So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. Well, it's an unbelievable story for sure. I'm not sure even I'd believe it. I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy, meeting Vigil, talking to Sovereign on Vermeer. But my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC, putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. Your dad's a good guy. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. Your dad's a really good I guy. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. No. Oh. Did you do anything about it? What did you do with it? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. I think you did the best you could. I think it did help. Plus, now we're here and we can take care of things better, right? So about Victus. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. True enough. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie, play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. Then if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. You want to be the Primarch? I noticed generals saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of succession are you these days? Let's not go there. <laughs> Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavin when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. I mean, you can learn to hold a hammer, right? All right, well, I'll see you later then. That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. It really is. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. You do that. Also, I notice there's no more railing here, so we can actually go over to look at the guns. I sometimes forget how big or small the uh, the Normandy is, because these are supposed to be main guns, and we've seen them, but like, yeah, I guess they're big, but they're also like person-sized, so it's like not that big at all. I don't know. You got your rifle bench already calibrating. Let's go check on Joker and Edie, because I'm sure they have conversations too, now that Edie has a being physical form. This wall though. Luckily it's only the ones I couldn't save and not the ones I could. Including Jenkins. The first first casualty of, well, many, I suppose. Trainer, you didn't... There was no voice sound... What? What would you find? I saw the thing pop up. There was no sound regardless. And that's not the recording not picking it up. That There was no sound there. Commander, are you alright? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down there. It was kind of nuts. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Also Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. We all would have helped. I wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. What? Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper Invasion Front will hit them soon. Uh, what academy? I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. Oh! It's home to some of the smartest Didn't I send what's-his-name there? Their Ascension Project helps gifted young biotics. If it had been open 20 years ago, I bet you'd have been there. Yes, I sent a young man named yes, David Archer. Yes, David. There. I'm just surprised they're still open. Some of their work has Alliance support. That might be why they stayed. Well, we should help them when we get the chance. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call, 
So normally, I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Cerberus. It's Edie the same code? It's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one... Ah, uh, he did the same thing ship. again. Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy is being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Oh, say, hey, they've escaped. Don't worry. When in reality, they're being attacked. Got it. Good catch. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer, good catch. Thank you, Commander. Doing good. You're different from Kelly, but that's fine too. I don't even know where Kelly is. She didn't come back. That's right, so a Grissom is a thing. I'll have to read that at some point. But, Joker. How's this going? Hey, Commander, check out my co-pilot. Yeah, I noticed. Did Did you know what she was doing? So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you. <laughs> Come on, Commander. Don't you trust me? I do. But that's kind of okay, why. Let me put it this way: If I knew that Edie was going to install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Fair. Look at that. I would have baked a cake. I am right here, Jack. <laughs> yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. He's so excited. About, he is so excited about this. I don't know whether to be happy for him or insanely uncomfortable with this. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. You know he's a good There's guy. There's a lot of crap out there. Needs a bullet between the eyes. Plus, we might need something calibrated. I love that calibration, like, from ME2 went so far that everyone's like, we have to talk about the calibrations of the Garrus now. It's just how it is now. And, like, the, the calibration line was just his I don't have anything to talk to you about right now line. But because it comes up so often, because everyone wants to talk to Garrus, it's just like, that's all you ever hear about now with Garrus, is calibrations. And they're just taking it and running with it. Commander. Alright, how about you yourself, Edie? I was wondering why I couldn't talk to her in her little, uh, thing here earlier, but A, it's not here. B, it's because she's going to be on this side now with a body. Hello, Shepard. You didn't need to send up. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears... Adequate. Good. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Joker. Perhaps Calm down. we should speak privately. Like two feet away? I'll be over here. Flying the ship. <laughs> this pan out. <laughs> What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? He likes it too much. No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard. Do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Yes. I do want to address, though, because it is kind of weird. Um, which part of her is, like, super metal robot and the others are, like, soft metal? Like, her face and, like, this unit's supposed to be, like, an infiltration unit. So she's supposed to resemble being human and was disguised as Eva Kore with, like, skin. So, like, when her face moves and she's speaking... It's got to be, like, soft to, like, resemble fleshiness, right? But then there's her hair. What is going on with that? Like, it's so stiff and, like, bulky. It's so clearly fake. Like, if you passed by someone, if, if like, Eva Kore passed by someone and, like, they bumped her hair, it's like, why are you wearing a helmet? Oh, it's just your hair. How is that your hair? Like, the design is interesting but very bizarre and I don't understand how it works it's it's just weird but that doesn't make it bad also Joker seems to be happy so you know who am I to take that away from him absolutely his command I have but no still. use for team members who can't think for themselves why are you asking about something like that I was designed by Cerberus I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, 
I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. As he does. And you didn't get an answer. Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? But what do you think you should do? Remember, I just said you need to make your own judgments. And since you're free to with Unshackled AI, uh... Do you need to make adjustments? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. Well, case by case. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? Yeah, sure. If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. I'm gonna walk all the way back now, or are you gonna leave me here? You're gonna leave me here. I, I wasn't done talking, though. Can I talk more? See, this is why you shouldn't yes, have sat Shepherd? down. Because I had more questions. So what can this body do now? Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. It's optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I mean, as a I meant person. I comparison to organic bodies. Yeah. Not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. How... human? I guess organic of you. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, you can take human instinct to be the same way. It's a pre-programmed sort of directive that we just follow. We don't really rationalize it too often, but at the same time, we can go against it if we so desire. That said, I like living, so, you know, let that do its thing. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld Ah, firearms. learning to use guns. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. Ah, you're making sure you have super assassin powers. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. You do that. Keep learning. Just, you know, don't go all overlord on us. That's all I ask. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. You are, though. I like it. Oh, uh, this is going to be one of those. You can like things, and it's like, from a programming standpoint, I have things that I can prefer, and they elicit responses of, this is good. You know, much like brain chemicals. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do. There we go. But my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. It, that's how it Will functions all this for people. Feedback be too distracting. Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> like, I recognize it as a joke, but the sheer abject terror in Shepard's face at her response was so good. He was like, you what? <laughs> oh my god. That was that was a good one. <laughs> Alright, so about the Normandy's escape. How did you and Joker make it out of Dry Dock to rescue us? Oh, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. I figured that when much. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI. 
so the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. Good. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. To think that you're capable of deceiving them is scary, but useful. Wait, you can lie? She tells jokes all the time. Jeff has freed me of Operator Control Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out of the airlock. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. They're kind of stuck with us now, but you know. All right. Good learning about you. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. I mean, it depends on your preferences, but you know, clothes might also be an option. Option. You choose. All right. Uh, was there anything else I need to go see and do or talk to? Um, because I spoke to everybody back here. Yeah. You have a message from Major Elenko. He must be feeling. Kaden. Commander. All right. He emailed me. Kaden. Meet me in Purgatory. You're not Kaden. Oh, from Arya. I have a proposition for you, Shepard. You don't. Uh, you won't want to pass it up. I'm in a nightclub on Citadel called Purgatory. Don't make me wait too long. You're gonna have to wait. I have side quests to investigate. Help request from sender blocked. Commander, my name is John Dumbao. I'm the Special Tactics and Recon. Oh, you're a Spectre. Uh, while some still have concerns about your past activities with Cerberus, many of us in Spectre took your warnings about the Reaper seriously. Well, at least someone did. Uh, I'm reaching out to you because I have information that can tie agents with significant political power to the Reapers. If you have time to meet me in the Citadel Embassy, I'd appreciate your discreet assistance. Sincerely, John Dumbao, SDG and uh, Spectre. Oh, you're also SDG. You're Solarian. I would not have been able to tell with your name. All right. Docs is ready for visitors. This is Caden. Hey, Shepard. Through some combination of a medical miracle and some dumb luck, I survived the beating I took on Mars. The doctors say I'm still not ready to be released, but I'd really like to see if you can spare the time. Counselor Dina offered to make me a Spectre. Still thinking about whether or not I should accept. Stop by my room in the hospital, uh, at the hospital when you're on the Citadel. I'd like your advice. Thanks, Caden. Listen, I think you're good enough to be a Spectre. Is this address valid? Shepard, I've called and I've sent messages, but gotten no response. With Earth's comm systems out, I don't expect this will get through either, but I had a rumor the Normandy docked here at the Citadel. Are you alive? I'm at Huerta Memorial Hospital under the name Tanor Nuara. Please excuse the moniker and this email's encryption. My line of work, it's unwise to advertise my location, particularly when I'm not in good health. We should meet before circumstances force us apart again. Thane. Thane! You're going under Tanor Nuara. That is nothing near Thane Krios. But okay. I'll go see you too. Urgent message from Admiral Hackett. Commander, there's an Alliance researcher working on the Citadel named Dr. Garrett Bryson. I need you to meet with him right away. If Dr. Bryson has uncovered important new information about Reapers that could have a direct bearing on the war... Uh, oh. Dr. Bryson has uncovered an important new information about Reapers that could have a uh, direct bearing on the war. I'm officially directing you to support his efforts at the first possible opportunity. Please visit Bryson's laboratory on the Citadel at once. And then Omega from Arya. Okay, so some of these are DLC and I don't know which ones, and they're all hitting me at once. Because I know there's... Well, this is probably the Omega DLC, which I want to do later. And I think this one is also DLC? I don't know. Part of me likes that it's like seamlessly integrated. At the same time, I'd like to know which is DLC so I can do it later. But from Arya, Shepard, I have something important to discuss with you. It's sensitive, so I'll need to privacy. I'll arrange for that soon. In the meantime, come see me on the Citadel in the aptly named Purgatory. So she has like two things waiting in Purgatory, so I may just avoid Arya for a bit. But sounds like we're headed to the Citadel for side quests. So let's do that. Leave orbit. Ooh, let's get out of here. And, oh, new places have opened up, huh? Kite's Nest, Hades Gamma, yeah, Petra Nebula, Rescue the Students. Okay, I'll do that in a bit. Exodus Cluster I'm done with. Uh, meet with Diplomats. Oh, that's the main quest. So, Dr. Bryson, meet Arya. Uh, Minos Wasteland I haven't been to. 
Oh, there's the Shrike Abyssal. Yeah, because I had a quest I needed to do. Hang on, let me go to the Shrike Abyssal. Because there's a quest that I had to do that was in the Shrike Abyssal, but I got it before I could even go there. I think it was like a something monument. Whatever. Now that I can go here, though. Uh, oh, I have to scan areas. Yes. Ping. I found something. Hey, perfect. Shut up, Reapers. No one ask. Zadaban is a large, dense planet named for a Volus god of punishment. Its crust is rich in uranium, eroded by winds to create large radioactive dust storms across the planet. The Volus of Talosphia have explored the planet thoroughly with space probes and telepresent robo mining machines, and discovered they are not the first to exploit the planet. Plastics from a mining station approximately 50,000 years old can be found near the planet's equator. Curiously, the mines were uh, nearby were not tapped out of uranium ore, and they were instead abandoned at the height of their operation. Ah, they found ancient civilization here. Down this way. Oh, there it is. Found it quick. Was it? Money! I'll take it. Always good with money. 50%, so there's something else out here. Found it! Don't be fuel? It was fuel. Ah, you know what? I needed fuel. It's fine. Alright, well, with everything recovered, let me get out of here. And go to Earl of Ross, I suppose? I, so I think I have to scan for uh, the thing I'm looking for. So. Signal confirmed. Found a thing. Oh, about Talosphia. Talosphia is a planet capable of supporting life, if that life happens to breathe ammonia. So, Volus. Discovered by Asari explorers, the planet was used as a bargaining chip by the Citadel Council, who quickly drafted a colonization agreement with its wealthy client race, the Volus. The Council would fund the Volus colonization effort in return for massive trade benefits. With uncharacteristic enthusiasm, an enormous Volus influx ensued, and the Council reaped the economic benefits for dozens of years before the colonization bubble burst. The Reapers found Talosphia easily easy prey. The independent planet has a defense fleet only sufficient to handle small-scale actions. Its high population industrial base, once a deterrent to war with other Terminus system worlds, has only served to attract a larger number of Reapers than usual. So, target-rich environment. That's not great for them. Where is it? Still going. So far away. Found it. What, you? There's the Prothean Obelisk. Okay, so... Quest complete. Uh, 50%. Planet? Nope. I hate the sound. It's so annoying. It's loud. Bother. Bye. Reapers eluded. Run and ping. Faster than light jump successful. Where's the last thing? It's 50%. Uh, do, do, uh, uh, run away. Evasion successful. Oh, there it is. Okay. I can get there on the next run. Reapers eluded. Go, 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 go. Ah, uh, I hate that I have to hit the button instead of just like hitting space. Faster than light. Because it's successful. like. If I'm being chased, it doesn't work quite well. This is infuriating. This is so dumb. I hate this mechanic. It's so Evasion garbage. Successful. I want to punch the teeth out of the person who decided this was a good idea, because it's not. Give me the fuel, because I need it, and we're getting out. Leave, please. Like, the mechanics don't work for PC. Reapers I'm sure it works totally fine on a controller, because you can just hit you know, A, to accept. But here, no, I have to click on the button manually. I've tried hitting space or anything else to, to accept. And it's like, no, I have to stop, click on the button in the corner down here. You don't even see my mouse, but you see it blinking. I have to move my mouse down to this button to use it. All right, mouse away, hitting space. Nothing, nothing. Also, why is, like, why can't I use regular controls to move? I have to like, click and point where I'm going. Like, this is all mouse control. Why? Why would you adapt that for this game and not just regular controls? And I know it's been like that for the past several games, but it's never been a problem because I didn't need to, you know, 
be timed. Uh, I can explore Mina's Wasteland as well, because I haven't done anything here. Let me quickly find random jumps to pick up. Oh, this place is small. Ping. I found something. There we go. Uh, Pietas, though Pietas has a combination of features that make terraforming a possibility, the rights of the planet have been tied up in Citadel Council courts for the past nine years. The running joke is that th by the time the council finally gives the go-ahead to colonize the planet, Pietas will evolve life of its own. Home to comfortable temperatures and a mild atmosphere of mostly nitrogen argon, Pietas could be habitable with the addition of oxygen-producing cy cyanobacteria, so we could live on it as humans. Or other other oxygen-breathing species, so humans, Turians, Krogan, Asari. Its crust is high in silicates and carbon, allowing for easy fabrication of construction materials. Smugglers, pirates, and other unregistered starships sometimes touch down on Pietas to lay low or make repairs. Civilian travel is not advised. Well, yeah, because technically no one owns it. So they're just going to do their thing. Aha! Gimme. What you? Money. Money's good. You can use a lot of money. Uh, 50%. Nope. Where is it? Oh, it's over there. Hello? I can't leave the system. I can't leave the system. I can't leave the system. I thought I could leave the system. I can't. So did I, I didn't get it here. Hang on. I found ping both. Done. Give me this. Okay, so I think it's actually in the same place as before. It's not actually randomized. It would be funny if it were randomized, though, so I'd have to look for it every time, but then I'd also complain that's a really dumb mechanic, because it is. No, no. Okay, glad I managed to get both this time. Fuel. I do need more fuel, so that's fine. It just, it sucks when I don't need the fuel, and then I pick up fuel. Alright, but I'm done with Minos Wasteland. Sacred's so Cradle. Go back to that another time. Hades Gamma. Hades Nest. Exodus Cluster. I totally... Oh, no! This is where the story was, the Appian Crest. Uh, go there later. If I need to come back, I will. But for now, let's get back to the Citadel. And turn in some quests, and get new quests. And do new quests. Depending on which, uh, floors are open, and whatnot, uh, I will have to, uh, pick up quests as I get them. But I do want to see... Oh, I can go to Dr. Bryson's lab immediately. Not yet. I do want to see Caden. Normandy, we are transferring your docking clearance to an Alliance official. Oh? Figures. Finally back in action, the Alliance already wants us tagged and collared. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Joker. Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? Uh, no. I'll, I'll go around myself. Yes, Commander. I do like that they'll just warp me to wherever floor I want to go to. It's a lot handier. But it's fine. I'll figure things out on my own. Anybody talking over here? Who's talking? Oh, you. We come in and set up medical bunkers and supply depots. And then the main fleet comes in to occupy. I'm not wearing commando leather, honey. What does that mean? We'll be perfectly safe. They don't put engineers on the front lines. They do if I'm playing engineer. They won't be able to talk to us. Yeah, it, you can really see how an Asari fringe is meant to resemble, like, a, a Turian fringe. It is actually kind of crazy how uh, Asari are sort of just built to appeal to all the races. Anybody in here want to talk? No? Okay. Pass through here. I can't use this car. Oh, I can use this car! Oh, well, never mind. I'll take the elevator. To the hospital! Welcome, Commander Shepard. Uh, Please select a destination. President Commons? I don't think I go there to Commons before. There's Purgatory. Areas tagged of interest to you are is this highlighted on the elevator different? menu. One moment, please. Hang on. D2 holding area. Is that different or is that where I am right now? 
Now arriving at docking bay E24. Emergency civilian housing. Ah! There's a refugee zone. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the docking bay. Wait, please. My family's on board. Just let them land. I'll pay. This isn't about money. The wards are already at capacity for refugees. There's just no room. You let Asari in here early. That's back when we had space. Where is my family supposed to go? I don't know, all right. But they can't land here. Just let them in. You can't turn people away. Yes, we can. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the docking bay. Wait, please. My family ah, it loops. Uh, I'm gonna support him. Land. Like, I'll pay. just let him get his family. We're in a desperate time. Words are already at capacity. Sure you can't squeeze in a few more people, officer? And who the heck are you? Oh, Commander Shepard. Uh, if that's what you think, I'll, uh, I'll find them some There we go. So my family can dock? Commander Shepard says your family's cleared. Just tell them to hurry. I... Thank you, Commander. Thank you so much. Honestly, if it were just, like, friends, I'd be like, no, they need to find somewhere else. But this is your family you're talking about, right? It's family, I'm not having that break, broken up and risking losing them and never seeing them again. I'm not gonna let that happen. Like, like this. See this? This is tr- Who's that? I can't tell Drill apart, I'm sorry. Um... Who is that, though? This is another one over there, it's the same picture. But yeah, see this? This is tragic. This is what I want to avoid. Let that family stay together. And at the very least, if something happens, they go out. At least they'll all go out together, right? That's the least we can let happen. Wait, can I go over here? No, that's just a little C-Sec thing. That door looks like I can go in, though, but he won't let me because it's an elevator. Alright. Uh. Oh, yeah, you're new. I can talk to you down here. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Docking Bay E24. This level has been repurposed to accommodate the recent influx of civilians on the Citadel. Please ensure that you observe proper security protocols at all times while in this area. I will try. Any other important areas? This is just going to tell me about all the places I've been to, huh, isn't it? The Normandy is currently docked in D24, which is tagged to your biometrics. If you wish to contact your species' official Citadel representative, please go to Citadel Embassies. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. Yeah, this is the, the same. The Presidium Commons have been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first Ah, I can learn about Purgatory now. Do you have any information on Purgatory? The term Purgatory is present in many civilizations no, no, with the, varying the bar. associated uses and meanings. No, the bar called Purgatory. <laughs> The Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board has no establishment by that name on its list of approved oh. nightlife entertainment facilities. What? It's illegal? Oh, because it's between heaven and hell. Got it. So, about the refugees. How many people are stranded here? Any personal information pertaining to residents of these facilities cannot be revealed without prior authorization. Am I not authorized? However, be assured that the facilities allocated by Citadel Council are more than adequate for current requirements. You sure about that? Adequate? Absolutely. Furthermore, relocations requests are being given top priority. The Citadel is dedicated to ensuring optimal solutions for all. So what do you got around here? What else is in the area? This high security docking area was formerly reserved for Alliance Embassy deliveries. However, Councillor Udina recently put forth a council motion that it be converted to accommodate civilian emergency housing. Oh yeah? So how did the council react? The motion passed with unanimous approval. Interesting. Since then, all major races have contributed to the funding required to maintain this area. Neat. So, but security. Can you tell me about the security protocols you mentioned? Due to the high influx of civilians and new streamlined processing measures, travel from this area is carefully monitored. These are merely precautionary measures to ensure the safety of permanent Citadel residents. Fair enough, I guess. Thanks, Avina. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. It won't be this you, though. According to the council, these galaxy Excuse me, what was your name again? Uh, Picard. Christophe Vasser, good to meet you. How long have you been here? 
I don't know. I'm, I'm not in the... I don't know how long it was since I escaped Leon. Do you know Leon? No. But they're doing the same hand motions now. Well, he was trying to make small talk out of being panicked, but... Man, a lot of Batarians hanging out here. I'm sort of just surprised that the Batarians and humans aren't just constantly at each other's throats right now. But I guess they're all sort of in a bad way. Anything happening over here? Well, that's been abandoned. The Metagel station over here. It's quite usable, but it's here. Alright, so is this the... Are they just all, like, staying in shipping containers as housing? That desperate, huh? I mean, I guess it is, isn't it? Now, let's start from over this side. Those are strength and tight mask. Wait, don't I have that? I know that your faith is weak. Our government has fallen, but if you hold the pillars of strength in your hearts, please just don't give up. Hi. I recovered your pillars of strength from the kite's nest. Hey. They're yours. Waiting in bay D24. Thank you. Right now, my people need any reminder of their faith they can. Cool. Also, war assets gained. All right. Um, there's a shop. Thank you, human. Okay. No one else wants to talk. All right. Well, um, what you got for sale? Ooh, Kishok harpoon gun, assault rifle, piercing mod, shotgun, smart choke, shotgun blade attachment, bayonet, melee damage up. Shotgun high caliber barrel. Ariaka technology gauntlets. Melee damage. Terminus. Hey, it's the Terminus armor! Ooh, assault rifle omni blade. So it's like the blade attachment, but this one's shiny. Uh, Terminus armor is melee damage, ammo capacity, and shields. Not quite what I'm looking for for me. And the harpoon gun is. what? The Lion's Captain on her fifth turn of Terminus Systems once said that seeing a Kishok was the easiest way to tell if she was being attacked by Batarian mercenaries or slavers, since no bath through the Kishok means to take you alive. Ah! This powerful sniper rifle fires a harpoon-like spike that causes massive internal bleeding and its miniaturized disruptors will also destroy synthetics. The rifle's biggest drawback is that it must be reloaded after every shot. But for those with steady enough aim and good timing, one shot is enough. So you are a strong one-shot rifle. I can afford you. Yeah, I'll pick you up. The rest, I'll come back for, at some point, when I get more money. But I got a new sniper rifle. Maybe I'll use this one instead of the one I picked up. One-shot sniper rifles tend to be a uh, bit more useful for me compared to the uh, multi-shots. So, how's this going? Kelly! Hang on. I'm looking around. Kelly, you're here. I guess that is your face. I couldn't tell because you're not wearing the uh, uniform. Yeoman Kelly Chambers. Shepard, it's really you. I could just hug you. Okay. It's good to see you too, Kelly. <sighs> I've been so worried. Without my Cerberus contacts, I had no way of knowing if you'd survived the invasion. So you left. You're not with Cerberus anymore? Working with you opened my eyes. Got me thinking. I looked closely at what Cerberus had done. In good conscience, I couldn't stay with them. You inspired me to leave. All right. Uh, then you want to come with? Come back to the Normandy. Please believe me. <laughs> I want nothing more than to be with you again, but I can't. Ever since the Collectors abducted us, I relive it ah, every night. PTSD. I see Joker running out. Then that cold hand pulls me back. They're above me. Around me. They stuff me into that coffin, and... I'm relieved. 
they aren't touching me anymore. But then it's so small. You can't breathe. It seems like forever. I watched people melt. Yeah, that's not God. great. Hey, it's okay. I'm fine. I just can't step back onto the Normandy. Okay, fair enough. I'm sorry. Don't be. And even if I could, I shouldn't. I'm making a difference here. You are? If there was ever a reason I studied psychology, it was to help people at a time like this. Cerberus let you go? Didn't think Cerberus liked people going AWOL. They don't. But Cerberus has more important things to worry about than me. Uh... Take care of the refugees, change our identity. I mean... Better safe than sorry? Don't take chances with Cerberus. Change your look. Change your name. Get new identification. That takes time, and the people here need my help. Do it, Kelly. Okay, I will. If you think I should. I'm so glad you found me. Seeing you makes everything right again. Oh, and your fish. Nobody was going to take care of them with you in custody, so <gasps> I saved them. My fish! I'll send them back to you. Thank you. Oh, I need to run. Please be careful. Get those changes. Um, Cerberus, they're really efficient when it comes to wanting people dead. Somehow. Cerberus, they don't... Let's check on those Metagel supplies. They don't handle defectors. Yes, oh, there's back here. anything from the hospital. The surgeons there are all busy. Keep on it. Some of these wounded don't have much time. You leading, Garrus? Shepard. Hey. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. Uh. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting Reapers. It's not bad, huh? Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single Reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war, it's slaughter. They're called Reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Make sure they don't suffer. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. Definitely been better. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. You too. There's a lot more war to go. I'll drag you up if I have to. Is that me? Garrus, can you explain? Those aren't the clothes I wear. Why is this VI me shorter than me? You are looking at VI model 1.7 AGB, Commander Shepard. Please see a store clerk to unlock a demo of this model. You are looking at VI model 1.7 AGB, Commander Shepard. Please see a store clerk to unlock a demo of this model. That's not even my voice. Why do you have a demo VI sitting here? Oh, you're the sales clerk? Hey, you want to unlock that? You have a copy of a Shepard VI? Oh, yeah. The one based on that war hero? We locked it after some kid spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. You said that war hero. You... Look at the VI. Look at me. Do, do you not... Do you... I'm right here. Good to meet you. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Extranet says you're Alliance Military. Take care of yourself out there, officer. I'm... I'm me, you, uh, me. There's nothing this galaxy can't beat if we all work together. Why is the voice screwed? Is it because of the soda? Except the Reapers. Ever see the size of one of those things? Wait, no, that's... <laughs> My personality matrix can predict what the real Commander Shepard would say with 7% accuracy. That's it? 7%? Come on, I'm way more predictable than that. I come pre-installed with a flight sim of the SSV Normandy. That's kind of neat. Got any pets? You look like a Varen person. 
I feel like I should be insulted by that. Should I be insulted by that? Garrus, should I be insulted by that? Always nice to see you. Hey again. Anyone ever tell you you're one hell of a looker, soldier? All right, that one's a good one. Don't be a stranger. I don't really sound like that, do I? Garrus, please reassure me. <laughs> Extra net says you're alive. All right, I think we're looping again. Take care of yourself out there, officer. All right, well, is that it for down here? I can't believe they have VI of me. And it's garbage. Also, I met Kelly. I wonder what her new name will be. Provided she actually does it. Look at all those drawers that I can't access. Alright. Uh, no, let's go to the hospital. Then I'll go to the embassies and stuff. But let's see Caden. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Yes, I know your stock of modified metagel is low. Thane, but... what are you doing? No, you don't understand. This is important. Listen, I am a surgeon at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. We have several alien patients here at this time, and we need... No, regular metagel won't work. We need the modified version for better there it is. absorption rate. Don't you dare hang up on me. This is a medical emergency. We can't wait forever on this. Hey, Dr. Raven. I found this metagel formula and figured you could make good use of it. Hanar and Drell Forces. Find this? Never mind. It doesn't matter. Yes, we can put this to good use. Thank you. Excellent. Thane! Bud! What are you... What did the window do to you? <clears throat> Commander Shepard. When I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane, good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Nice. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. That's cool, too. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend, Caden. You got oh yeah, protected. you never met him. The human biotic in intensive care. <coughs> I saw the marks of an implant. Yeah. We have spoken. He seems an honorable sort. He's a good guy. Your enemies may try to finish him off here. I will look out for him. Thane, you're the best. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Come on, Thane. Kepril Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. <laughs> Man, saying goodbye Thane right now feels super wrong. So you, you can't join up? I'm back in the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. It's that bad and now? if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at Thane. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. <laughs> I'm sure we could find it. Gotta do a spinning neck snap. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. I guess you did kind of want to die, or at least you would have welcomed death on the suicide mission, but I let you survive anyway, because I'm not letting anyone die. So how long got you left? Know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. <laughs> it's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. He's got negative no six years left. No fears. Or negative six months. It is a good end to a life. You're so strong, dude. You have three months to live. Nine months later. <laughs> you should be dead. I know. Are you in a lot of pain? You just choking all At the time? Times, the oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. Anemia? And that is the best of it. It's basically anemia. As for my brain. I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. It's like having thin blood? Oh, that sucks. 
that's even worse than maybe like it doesn't hurt you just you just get numb and dropped because you can't function man yeah we can't have you uh falling unconscious randomly in the middle of combat all right i'll see you later thane i wish the best for you thane and i for you do not grieve for me i have good doctors my son visits regularly. That's good. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. Of course. I popped into existence standing. But good to see you again, Thane. Oh boy. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the VI in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know him dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them appointed by him. The name is what it is. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta. What is even the problem? President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the VI in his head telling him what it is. What is even the problem? Trust me, in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them appointed by him. The name is what it is. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political what are you even piled on enough propaganda to get them. Having a VI drive your body isn't life. A Reaper husks alive? You did not just say that. But it's the same thing, isn't it? He walks and makes noises just like they do. Fine. I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. Thanks. Took her long enough to get the hint. Is that what's happening? It's called Huelter Memorial because the guy died, but he's been kept alive, or not even alive, but he's being piloted by a VI, and you're trying to argue that it shouldn't be a memorial because he's alive? That's so screwed up. No, don't pilot a corpse with a VI. What the hell is wrong with you? Yes, you're surrounded by zombies. That's... And who would pronounce that alive? Welcome Anything new? Serta. Yes, actually. Give me that. Thank you for shopping. That conversation was so weird, I didn't know where it was going. And then when I did know where it was going, I'm horrified. Anything back here? Oh, you have We were deployed to Tiptree. It's a small human colony. We right. were supposed to help with evil. PTSD is sorry. And the enemy was landing. Just scouts, the Turian things, a few of them. Big ones. We were spread over half the continent, getting colonists to shuttles, wiping out husks. It sounds like you were doing good work. Could I have a gun? I'd feel a lot better. No. Just tell me what happened at Tip Tree. We're not getting more? We're not getting more. Dr. Michelle. How are you? Again, Commander. You're to see our patient? Yes, how is he? How is Kate doing? Stable. There's no evidence of cognitive impairment from the concussion, but multiple shoulder fractures are still on the mend. Okay. Bed rest under observation is all that's needed now. I'm sure a visit would be welcomed. I will. This war has left a lot of injured people homeless. How's your center handling the extra load? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. Yeah. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. Yeah, it's it's tough. We got supplies? How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. Oh, fun. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different I think from my days in the world. We said this before, but okay. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. I like how you came back to continue the conversation. All right, Kaden, my boy, my guy, my bro. Yes, I'm trying to place a call to Grissom Academy. 
They have biotic amp interfaces. I may be able to adapt for a Alright, so I can pick that up when I'm over there. No, it won't connect. It says the station's communication system is offline. Of course. If these interfaces make our commandos better on the field, I'll hold for as long as we need. Alright. There's a mission. Anything in here? Anybody need anything? How about back here? Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. Uh -huh. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. Who, who are you talking to? I know the Ismar Frontier is there we go. Ismar yes. Frontier. Yes. All I can say is that unless we get those prototypes back, this project accomplishes nothing. Thank you very much for your time. I'll call you if anything develops. I'll get that for you. Glad I came back here. 